what is up just wanted to make this quick video to help out any NA guys who have deleted their AC and now have this useless second cooling fan it's super easy to make use of this and I'm gonna show you how so behind the glove box there's gonna be this box with these two wires attaching to it and all we're gonna do is make a jumper all I did was get two blade connectors and crimp them to a wire plugged them together what we're doing here is just bypassing the pressure switch which normally plugs into the core inside this box if you haven't hollowed this box out you might as well it will save about five pounds now here in the engine bay where you'd normally have your AC hard lines you're going to be left with this single plug this is going to be your high side pressure switch and we're simply just going to jump this once we jump those two connections, it's going to allow us to use the AC button on the dash as a manual fan switch. And when we press it, it's going to activate both of the cooling fans. So if you're wondering why you would want to do this mod, um, basically on the 94 and up Miatas, this temp gauge is kind of just a dummy gauge. It won't really move from like 150 to 220. So I have this real gauge right here. But essentially the factory ECU doesn't kick on one of the cooling fans until about 210. And then it does this cycle between about 190 and 210 when you're sitting on grid or in traffic. The point of doing this mod is just to keep it consistent. You have manual control over your temps. For example, if I'm on grid right now, I'm about to take off at around 210 degrees. That's not going to be optimum. I want to start my run at 180 and not have to worry about overheating. So you can see now I'm almost at 210, so I'm just going to go ahead and kick my fans on. Now it's been less than a minute and we're already below 180, so just go ahead and turn them off. Just a very simple and effective mod to make use of that second cooling fan and have manual control over your temperature. You don't have to wire in any new switches, run any wires, it's all here on the factory dash. Looks clean, looks stock, looks simple. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and this could help some of you out there. Anyways, that's it for the video. Catch you in the next one.